in a sense, it's like a piece of art. You know, you look at it and uh, you see it with your eyes, but you feel it with your heart. What we were doing was never done before. It was a time of uh, great experiment. Certainly the United States was going through a revolution of sexual art, uh, uh, you name it. it. It was, you know, haircuts and <laughs> the whole, whole thing. So we were just inspired by this time. I don't think we could have done it today. No. No, no way. No way. She's a, a sculpture and she understands the space and the art that goes inside that. And, um, and uh, if we had some details that weren't working out right, why she would go in and, and, and blend them in to make them look right. I didn't want it slick or smooth or anything, you know, I just wanted it rough. You know, I had a sense that uh, we could create something together. I saw a round white shape and I went over and I picked it up and I looked at it and I said, hey, that's my house. <laughs> <laughs> and so I quickly went and got a paring knife and cut it in half and looked at the ribs and looked at the buds and uh, it was a Queen Anne Lisa uh, plant, flower, common, you know, out in the meadows. And uh, that was the inspiration. I gave each one of you. Yes, I Queen Anne's lace to yeah. hold and said, this is your house. Don't yeah. touch the edges. This is your house. Yeah. He said, far out. Oh, I was afraid it was going to crash. I was right there trying to push it away and take care of it. I felt like it was my baby. <laughs> we were working on our concrete and she was working on her ideas of what uh, a sculpture could look like that was a house and uh, um, you know we just sort of all timed together and we had an engineer that was a brilliant uh, engineer yeah. and could carry us through so in the idea of, again confidence of picking up a casting he showed us how to do it and how to reinforce it and so forth and so oh, on. Oh man, so, I think he was so nervy. To... So <laughs> he just he just built the confidence in us that we could do it, so we never thought we couldn't. The addition is definitely Gaudi. Oh yeah, we went to Barcelona to see the Gaudi benches. We certainly um, were caught up with uh, uh, that freedom of design that he showed in his buildings. Tiles, that's what he used. and that was easy to do because you could smash them up and then they fit together. And I think uh, the uh, difference between night and day in that structure was... Oh, isn't that wonderful? ...was, was un, unrealized. I uh, didn't think it would do what it did, but it, it went from an open, expansive building to a very closed, closed in, in at building night. at night. It's an emotional feeling that you see. It was always sort of sheltering like a womb.